good everybody Trey from kick genius and today what I want to do is sit down with you guys and for the people on my ass about the Kobe 9 elite low performance test that I supposedly promised uh, which I didn't I said after we did the elite high performance test that I would come back and review the engineered mesh version which I did but for the people who still have questions uh, I wanted to make a video like a tips and advice type video on all the models since I've had the opportunity to wear each of them so you guys should know everything about the elite high model check out the performance test if you don't uh even if you do know everything check it out again because i think if everybody that's watching this video went back and watched that performance test it would hit a million views it's, it's that close and then we could you know induct it into that one million view club with the lebron 11 and the kd6 performance test but anyway moving to the elite low it plays exactly like the elite high except it's going to feel a little less restrictive from the ankle up even though the ankle collar on the Elite High is fairly soft, you'll still have laces pulling around your ankle area, giving you that tight sensation. Now you will sacrifice a few of the benefits that come with ankle support, uh, but nothing that you should prioritize first over what really feels most comfortable for you. And if you were to ask me my opinion straight up, which one I would go with, if I had the choice, I would go with the Elite Low. Now, as I said in the Kobe 9 Elite versus the Engineer Mesh video, you really can go either way. If I had to really nitpick and say which is more comfortable, I'd roll with the fly knit version. And I think needless to say that the Kobe 9 Elite Low as a collection this year has top five level releases. I mean, these shits are fucking fire. 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 There's also a premium version of the EM Low, which is basically the Taxure as $10 extra version. Uh, basically what they did is change up the upper, the material a little bit, and uh, drop some whack colorways. And last but not least, I had a few people ask me if they could hoop in the Kobe 9 Mid. And uh, straight up, I, I wouldn't recommend that. These are the lifestyle version, uh, which are pretty dope from a lifestyle casual perspective. But if we're talking performance, then... Nah, the ankle collar is substantially thinner and less cushioned. The nature of the shoe isn't the same. It's less flexible, it's less ventilated, uh, but for a casual shoe, I do like it. With some black tech fleece joggers, uh, a hoodie for hoodie season, again, fucking fire. Fire. fire! So, if I had to rank these three in terms of performance, aesthetics, and price, keeping all three in mind, I'm going like this. Uh, let's see. Starting from the beginning, I'm going right here. Let me turn it this way so you guys can see. Uh, then I'm going to go him and then him. So, boom, boom, boom. That's my order. Now, what that is saying is this shoe plays as well as the other two on the list, but I like this shoe aesthetically more than those two and for $200 that's definitely not a bad price for a shoe that I can put a lot of mileage on on the court and let's say it falls out of my rotation quickly maybe in a year or so uh, I can still take it off court and rock it casually and it still be considered dope. That shoe for $200 has a lot of value to me. Now you see the engineered mesh version being placed second. Uh, you should also notice that the two low cut models are being placed in front of the high which is basically saying I personally prefer to hoop and the low cut color uh, of the Kobe 9 because the containment is so good I don't really I don't need the high and also I'm getting into playing in shoes as easy to play in uh, what that means to me is that I can just put on the shoe not have to go through any hassle and just go hoop you know low cut shoes are like that I can just tie up a few laces and just go I can't do that with the you know you, you have like four or five extra eyelets on that the Kobe 9 the Jordan 28 you know, you kind of got to hassle with a little bit. I just want something I can I can put on that's very practical and just go. Now, I do like this shoe aesthetically more than this, but I feel like if we're talking performance, then the performance category should outweigh how much you, you consider, you know, the aesthetics. Now, the Elite High is last on my list in terms of these three shoes, but that doesn't mean it's a bad shoe. Uh, still very hoopable aesthetically. It's one of the better shoes to drop this year, but I just prefer to to hoop in the in the low version of the Kobe 9 and it, it's that simple it's not rocket science but a quick side note I kind of have bad news I know I, I hate bad news too uh, but I gotta keep you guys posted so I've been hooping in the UA Spawn 2 uh, I've been hooping in the Superfly 3's I don't know where they are right now I think they're in my car but um, I've got my week's worth of hooping in each shoe and literally the night before the day we was gonna film our workouts so I can get you guys the reviews I was playing 
last pickup game before I did the reviews. Shot a jumper, boom, came down some of my ankles, and my, my ankle just literally snapped, boom. But uh, anyway, I can walk, and I can get from A to B, uh, cool, you know, it's nothing too major, but I just can't put a lot of pressure on it, so I can't really even step on the court. But when I can step on the court, and as soon as I can, I promise you, I'll get those reviews out to you guys. I don't know when that's going to be, though, so... Uh, hopefully it'll be before the LeBron 12 drops. We don't even know when that's dropping no more because they did a recall. But hopefully it's soon. I promise you, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Other than that, everybody who has back ordered a logo tee uh, in the last month, we have restocked. So those are shipped out. We we really appreciate you guys' patience and your support. But yeah, just want to let you guys know that. Thank you for watching. It's Trey from Key Genius, and I'm out.